What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping on to that rank double ladder for Series 8, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Registeel and Yvelta team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across this channel, but as you guys can tell, your boy went back to the old Jeans online battles layout for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I was watching my older videos and I was like, why did I ever get rid of this layout? It is so nice. Everything is laid out so perfectly and I think it looks very, very slick and cool. We got the uh, question of the day down in the bottom left corner. We have the team layout right next to it. And we have our screen separate from our face cam. Yo, everything looks so good. And I'm actually glad I went back to this layout. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys do like this layout. And also let me know for question of the day, what are your top three favorite Pokemon from Generation 4? So Diamond and Pearl. Let me know in the comment section down below for both those questions for the day. Rocking out on this scene, we got Yavelta starting off in that top left corner with a Dark Aurora and that Assault Vest so it can eat up some special attacking moves. It also has Snarl to drop special attack, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Oblivion Wing for his stab move, and Foul Play for another stab move for physical attackers. Regilecki is right next to him with Transistor with the Focus Sash, Thunderbolt, Electro Web, and Volt Switch. Final move is going to be Protect. Normal move set for him. I don't have to say behind my face cam anymore because things are separate. So that is awesome. Tapu Fini in the middle left with the Misty Surge and a Guaf Berry. Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Calm Mind, and Protect. Normal moveset for a Tapu Fini, but it works so, so well. Right next to him, we got Arcanine, which is our first Intimidate Pokemon. I absolutely love this team. Considering we control special attack drops and physical attack drops with Intimidate and Snarls, it is awesome. We got Flamethrower, Will-O-Wisp, Morning Sun, and Snarl with this Arcanine, so we can drop Special Attack, we can drop Physical Attack with the Intimidate and the Will-O-Wisp, and then we got Morning Sun and Flamethrower for our other moves. Bottom left corner is another Intimidate Pokemon and our Life Orb Pokemon with this Landorus. We got Rock Slide, EQ, Fly, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for a Landorus. Final spot, we got Registeel with the Leftovers to give it a little bit more HP at the end of every single turn. We got Clear Body, so it's a uh, Stats can't be dropped, and then this moveset of Body Press, Amnesia, Iron Defense, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Registeel and Yvelta team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Zacian team alongside with Metagross, Lapras, Amoongus, Rillaboom, and Landers in the other form. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And I actually haven't seen Metagross too much on the rank ladder ever since the restricted mods have come out. So it's actually pretty cool to see Metagross get a little bit more loving once again. But who should I go into? How should I lead this one? I know he has clear body on that Metagross, so Intimidate won't really do much. He has his uh, Zacian, who's physical. He also has the... Uh, is that Landers physical? It might be special. I know it learns Earth Power. And it learns a poison move. Usually people give it a poison move, but I forget what poison move it is. It's not poison to have. It might be Sludge Bomb. It might be Sludge Bomb. I'm not too sure. But I'm probably going to leave that Arcanine because I can Snarl and get an Intimidate drop. That's pretty big. It also has the Moongus who can put me to sleep. Don't really like that. Actually, I could leave, could leave the Finny, right? Doesn't Finny do something with that? Or no, that's only Electric and... No, 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 no. Misty Church rocks with that. So we're going to rock out with the Misty Church. Go with the Arcanine. I think I'm going to bring in Yavelta and I think Landers. Landers isn't bad. Lando is not bad here, considering we have the uh, the Life Orb. So yeah, I'm definitely going to bring him. We have two Snarl Pokemon, two Intimidates. We're going to be able to rock out here and try to get ourselves a win in battle number one. But for question of the day, I'm actually going to be answering it myself every time at the beginning of the video. Or if I forget, I'll probably just do it later in the video. But my top three Pokemon from Gen 4 is going to probably be Empoleon. Yeah, Empoleon's definitely up there in no order, in no order. Empoleon, I think I have to throw Garchomp up in there. I think I had to throw Garchomp. Actually, oh, I don't know. I do like Floatzel. I really do like Floatzel. Hmm. Togekiss is cool. I don't think I have a top three. But I'm definitely throwing Empoleon. I do like Torterra, though. I'm going to say Togekiss, Empoleon, and... Hmm. Hmm. And probably Garchomp. Garchomp or Floatzel. That's going to be my final answer. Garchomp, Floatzel. Yeah, Togekiss definitely up there. Empoleon... Toad Kiss, Garchomp, and Fluencil for my top three with four Pokemon. <laughs> but he's going to leave the Moongus and alongside with the, uh, what's he called? The, the Lapras. I think I can call mine set up, no problem. And just go into some Snarls. I think that's totally fine to go into. Oh, dude, I'm with it. I'm with it. We're just going to start Snarling up here. Throwing that thing special, uh, special attack. We're going to boost our special defense on our top of Finny and get one from there. But yeah, this was... I, I made the decision to go back to this old layout like 2 a.m. last night. I was chilling on my iPad. I was like 
looking at my channel, doing some comments and stuff. And I clicked on an old video and I was like, dude, why did I ever get rid of this? This layout, like, it's so nice. It looks so eye appealing. It has everything laid out perfectly. Like I said, we have a question of the day tab, a team spread tab, and then we have my jeans little logo under my face cam with my social medias below. Everything just looks so good. But Amoongus is going to protect, so that's actually really good for us. We're going to be able to get off a snarl, go minus one onto that Lapras, and calm mind setup. I'm probably going to calm mind setup again. You give me no reason not to. Because he can't put us to sleep, right? I don't think he can put us to sleep. So solid first turn for us, getting that snarl off, minus one him, and a calm mind boost from my Tapu Fini. That's lovely. I might calm mind again. I honestly might. We get special defense boost and a special attack boost as well. And he's going to drop a geyser. Which, hopefully we can eat up and send our Ipapa Berry. We might be able to. We do. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ipapa Berry is going to trigger it. We're going to go for another Snarl. Uh, do I go for another Snarl or do I Calm Mindset? I can't Calm Mindset up. That's not a bad play. That is not a bad play. And he sets the water for us, man. Ipapa Berry coming out here. I'm thinking of just going for a Calm Mindset up. I really could. I am going to do that. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind. And Morning Sun is actually really nice. <laughs> Morning Sun. I could get some HP back, but uh, I think I'm just going to Snarl again. I think Snarl is just going to be the play. Drop the Sync Special Attack and roll from there. Let Arcanine die out. No big deal. Here's my Snarl. And I think he's going to go for... What is he going to go for here? Is he going to go for a Spore? Can he put me to sleep? I'm not too sure if he can put me to sleep. I'm trying to think. Am I getting my terrains mixed up? I know Electric Terrain doesn't allow sleep, but I think Misty Terrain does the same exact thing. Let's see. Gonna go for a geyser. He is going to take out my Arcanine here. That's totally fine. Arcanine did his job. I want my Arcanine to go down. If it survived, I actually would have been mad. So Arcanine goes down. I can get out whoever I want. Probably Yvelta. Get that assault vest popping here. Sports gonna pop out here. And yeah, Misty Terrain does do exactly what I want it to do. So beautiful. We are just absolutely dominating this battle. I think I Dynamax my uh I think I have to Dynamax my uh my Tapu Finny. It's plus two in special defense and special attack. So we're definitely gonna Dynamax the Finny here. And I am going to just drop a big old Oblivion Wing into that Amoongus. Let's go here. Let's go for a Starfall over onto you. Try to do as much damage as we can. And then just go for a nice big Oblivion Wing over onto you. I could Snarl again and just pester around here. But I seriously think we're fine with this Soul Fest and the plus two on the special defense. But he's already minus two on uh, special attack. We're really thriving here. This team is really, really good. I'm really liking it. But as you guys can tell, my throat's a little, like, dry. I don't know why. I woke up this morning and not, like, I feel fine. It's just my throat's bothering me a lot. So hopefully it doesn't lead to like other, like more sicknesses and I get sick because I, I absolutely hate being sick and I don't get sick often. It's usually like once every year or every two years and it's usually a bad sickness. So when I get sick, I'm usually like super sick and I hate it and it just puts me in bed for like a solid couple days and I get so annoyed because I'm very like, I'm very like outgoing and I love to just do a lot of things in my day. So when I stop doing things in my day, it really bothers me. Like, I'm like, dude, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have so much to do. But hopefully I don't get sick. Hopefully everything works out fine. And I can just push through and keep recording for you guys. But he's going to drop the G-Max Resonance. And yo, look at your belt. Just absolutely eating that up like a tank. Uh, his Dynamax turns are going to be over. I probably could have waited out another turn and Calm Mind boosted again. And just absolutely set up. But I'm not worried about that damage that we just took right there. Considering we have Oblivion Wing, we can get some HP back easily. He's kind of just wasting out these turns, and I'm just going to Starfall drop again. And try to do as much damage as I can. He might protect, but still. I'm just going to go for another Oblivion Wing. Get him rolling. He's probably going to protect that Lapras, I'm not even going to lie. Which I'm totally fine with. Actually, no. I'd rather him not. I'd rather us take out this Lapras this turn. So we get off another turn in the uh, next one. But hopefully he has some more special attackers. Because if he does... We're set up for it, because Special Defense boosts all my top of Assault Vest over on my Yavelta, beautiful. But then if he does have Physical Attackers, we do have Intimidate Landers in the back end. So, looking pretty good. He does have the Roar Bell set up, that's probably his only advantage right now. And he's up one Pokemon, but still, we're, we're set up. Arcanine went out for a good reason. But that comes out from the Lapras, okay, that's fair. And this thing could be Cobra Buried. You can totally see it being Cobra Buried. Oblivion Wing comes out, and he's not Cobra Buried. Beautiful. So we're going get, to get all of our HP back, and we're not going to be able to pick up KO, though. But I do dig it. I do dig it. God dang it, yo. This Lapras is just reading me hard with the protects. Starfalls can come out here. But we got a solid first battle. I'm liking this battle. Gonna be able to eat that one up. Uh, I think I just drop another Oblivion Wing. Wonder what he's going for. A clear. Oh, yo. Oh, no. 
Yo, this dude's rocking clear smog? He just did me dirty. He just did me dirty. There goes all my stats. That's whack, yo. That is so whack. I hate this game. I hate it so much. I really do hate this game. Let's go for another Oblivion Wing. We gotta get rid of this Amoongus. Yo, he really just clear smogged me, man. That boy really just clear smogged me. Hopefully we can still take out with a Starfall. I don't think we can. Actually, yeah, we should be able to. He's not Dynamax anymore. This boy really just clear smogged me. Yo, this dude doing me dirty. If he protects that Amoongus, that's going to be a smart play. Because then he could probably be able to get off a Spore. Toon. Of course, this thing's rocking clear smog. I thought we were set up for that victory. We did play the beginning very, very well. With the Arcanine and uh, Tapu Fini lead. I noticed that we can just roll out and set up. But, dude, this dude's just protecting, wasting out turns. So, he does protect the Moongus. Uh, Lapras is going to go down here. Ob Oblivion Wing is going to get blocked. And, um, we're going to see how we're going to play this next turn. Their stat, are their, yeah, their stats should still be dropped. Are you kidding me? This thing survives on one? What you mean? Yo, this thing really just survived on one? Tapu Fini eats, yo, are you kidding me? <laughs> this thing really just survived on one. Rain stops, terrain stops. Um... I don't want this thing to be hydration, so I, I'm not going to go into a muddy water. I could Calm Mind Boost. I could start Calm Mind Boosting. Hmm. What do I want to do? Because he's going to start probably to put me to sleep. Hmm, what do I do here? I think I just Moon Blast, take you out, and roll from there. Oblivion Wing. Yeah, that's fair. This thing really survived on one. He got a free Focus Sash, man. I would have loved for that thing to go down this turn. But yeah, smart plays on our end and smart plays on their end. They're playing this battle actually really, really well. Oblivion Wing comes out here. Not going to be able to take it out. He's probably going for a Spore looking to put a Pokemon to sleep. It's going to be smart. We can take it out next turn with Oblivion Wing if he doesn't put my Yvelta to sleep. Moonblast comes out here. Takes out the Lapras, no problem. Feels like this thing eats. Like, what you mean? <laughs> but he Spores, yeah. Obviously. That's all I come in. Man, dude, the spores on spores. Go ahead, throw out a special attacker. I would love for him to throw out a special attacker. That'd be better for us. If he throws out physical, I might swap you, Belta. I don't know. Let's see what he does. Let's see his plays, man. We have no rain. We have no Misty Terrain anymore. And he's going to throw out Rillaboom, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, baby. <laughs> We're in trouble. We are in trouble. We are in some trouble, man. Uh, I can protect and go into a, uh, I think, I think it's going to be the play. Protect and go into Lando. I think that's going to be play. We got to get this attack drop onto him. We cannot have this thing boost it. We're going to protect and go into Lando. Oh, that's a good battle. Win or lose. I, th I feel like we played this one really well, but MVP, definitely that clear smoggle on that Amoongus. Definitely 100% clear smoggle on Amoongus coming up clutch. But Intimidate Job's going to bring that thing back to normal. Jack's going to come out from the Finny. I think he's going to go for like a Behemoth Bash and a Spore. See what he does. Player Ruffs can come out here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We do eat, which is nice. Spore's going to come out here. And we get off that block. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, Lando might be able to outspeed that uh, Namazetta. Or uh, Zassian, which is nice. Um, what should I go for? I think a Muddy Water is probably your best bet. And I could drop an EQ. I could drop an EQ. Hmm. I can fly. And get rid of you. That could be good. We are orb. Actually, I'm gonna fly. He's gonna outspeed me. That's whack. He's gonna go for the Behemoth Blade. Over on my Finny, right? That's gotta be over on my Finny. No, he goes over on my Lando. And he's gonna dump on me. Dang it, dude. This dude, I knew this one was gonna be tough. Once he brought out this ass, you know, I was like, oh, yo, we're in some trouble. We're in some trouble here. Muddy Water Pops. And can we come out here and do some damage? But not even going to lie. Like, if he didn't have Clear Smog on that Amoongus, I think we win this game 100% of the time. I really do think we win this game 100% of the time without that Clear Smog. He definitely came up clutch. He played this one very well. I thought we played this one very well as, as well. But he's going to end up picking this uh, victory up in battle number one. I'm just going to bring out my y Yvelta. And I think I might just, uh, I might just run this battle because he's going to play rough me. Do some big damage. I don't really think there's any way out of this one. I got both my Pokemon asleep. This one's this one's just done for. I guess I'll go one more turn. See see if we can make something happen. Muddy Water's gonna come out here again, and I guess I'll go for an Oblivion Wing. 
Just to try to pick up this KO. And Yavelta hasn't uh, been asleep for a turn yet. Unless the swap counts for a turn. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Here's play rough. And I think we just get dumped on by that, right? Yeah. <laughs> see you later. See you later. GG's. Yeah, I totally forgot he was rocking Zass or just, yeah, Zassian on his team. Came out there, and I knew it from the beginning. I was like, yo, we are in trouble. Tin comes out, clutches up, and he was just going for a score just for the heck of it. He knows he's got this one pretty much locked up. But GG to that guy. Solid first battle. We can have it to our second battle now and try to get our first win for today's video. Second battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Ho-Oh team. This team looks absolutely phenomenal. I love the way it looks with the Espeon, the Indeedee, the Ho-Oh, the Raichu, the Ninetales. And he also has Blastoise. You gotta watch out if he wants to set up Shell Smash. That could be very, very scary. So I am gonna lead Regilecki. Because I can just E-Web and do some damage that way. Slow down the Pokemon and roll from there. So definitely Regilecki's gonna come in in that front spot. Uh, who else should I bring? I could bring in Intimidate Pokemon, but he's very special attacking. But I think I'm just gonna bring in uh, Snarl Arcanine. He thrives in a drought. I can snarl up on all these Pokemon because very, very huge on special attack board. Bring Yavelta. And then in the final spot, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. who do I want to bring in the final spot? Oh, I kind of want to bring Hapu Finny. Do I really need Yavelta? I really do not need Yavelta. Hmm. Actually, I might bring Yavelta over Arcanine. I do have a soul fest. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 that's, that's gonna be my play. You two. I'm bring Finny and I wanna bring I bring Lando? Yeah, Lando's definitely gotta come in here. I was gonna say Reggie Steel. I do want to show him off in today's video, but Lando just uh, covers a lot here. He has the rock fall for that uh for the Ho-Oh and the Nine Tails, and then we also have the ground move for that Raichu. We can thrive from there. But I really do wonder who he's gonna lead. If he leads that cell smash, we kinda have everything set up. We can snarl turn one. We have that assault vest with a Yabelta. So looking pretty good to get a starter here. Looking pretty good. Is ho -Oh physical? He might be physical. I think Sacred Fire is physical. I believe he might be, but still. A lot of his team special attacking, so we should be able to thrive out here. And get ourselves a win in battle number two. That first battle was actually a very good battle. We set up perfectly, but yo, this boy really had clear smog rocking out on his Moongus. And that clutched up and legit got him the win. Because we were set up for perfection, man. We really were. Until clear smog came out here and changed the battle. But that's what I love about Pokemon. It's like anything can happen at any time. But he does go in DD and into the Blastoids. So I'm just going to Snarl turn one and drop an E-Web. I, I think that's a play. I think that's the play of the year. Play of the year, yo. Nice lead by Jeans calling that Blastoids coming out here. Yeah, E-Web definitely popping. He is going to go with that Seeds. So he's going to get that nice, nice little boost there. Nice little special defense boost. I think we thrive here. We just drop a big old E-Web. Just in case he goes for follow me. And we just Snarl. Again, just in case he goes for follow me. So we get both those hits off on Blastoids and both those drops off as well. So let's just see what he does. He's got to be Herbed. White Herb. We know he's special attacking. And we know that uh, Shell Smash will boost speed. What is it? Speed, defense. Oh, he's going to withdraw. That's totally fine. And who's going to go into it? Well, I choose. Smart Cookie. Nice Smart Cookie play. What a Smart Cookie play. Smart Cookie play right there. Still does come out, though. It still does come out onto the Blast Age, which is lovely. But still, this is a smart play. I'm going for that, that read there. Snarl's gonna come out here. And we're gonna drop that thing, special attack, back to normal, and him down to minus one. But you love to see it. Shell Smash can come out here. Red's like he's still out speed, so. I feel like, um. I feel like we just uh, go into another E Web here. I think that's the play, right? Just go into another E Web, even though he soaks that up. I think that's totally fine. Slow him down and get after that Blastoids. I think that's the play, right? Uh, he's going to fake me out, though. He is going to fake me out. I can't protect the Regilecki. Actually, who do you... Who, who do I, th I think he's going to fake out. I'm going to E-Web and going... I guess I'll go into another Snarl. Or can I Sucker Punch faster than him? Oh, no. You have a Terrain out. You can't do that. Yo, you, yo we're chilling. We're chilling. Good thing I noticed that. He has a Psychic Terrain out. We're thriving here. Can't do that. You can't do... Yo, I noticed it. He didn't notice that. E-Web coming out here. Yo, we fine with that. I'm fine with this turn. Blastoid's gonna go down. Yo, you love to see it. Get that Blastoid's out of my face. Get that Blastoid's out of here. Get him out of here. I don't care if that thing goes up. Plus one. We're just gonna drop it down with a Snarl and not even have to worry about it. He makes a big mistake. And we do big old damage with Snarls. That thing's a lightweight. Things are lightweight. So starting off really, really strong here. Is Indeedee Raichu. I'm not worried about either of those Pokemon. And Espeon. Get it out of here. 
This is GG, yo. We, we started off this battle really, really well. Um, the bolt switch. Uh, I think I'm just going to protect this turn. See, oh, I'm just going to E-Whip. Slow down Espeon. I'm not dealing with Espeon. Good Snarl. I could so I'm going to Snarl again. Snarl will take out the Raichu, and we'll get minus one on Espeon with a super effective move. He's going to Dynamax. Yo, oh, yo, let's go. Let's go. Waste his Dynamax turns. I'm not dealing with this thing. I'm not dealing with him. We'll slow it down. We'll get rid of this Raichu. Say, hey, yo, Raichu, get out of my face. He's, uh, Raichu is minus two, so he's not... Oh, no, he's actually even. I forgot about the boost that we give him with the lightning rod. Reshalaki is going to outspeed everybody. Yo, I don't mind going for these electrolabs. I don't care that he's lightning rod boosting. We're just neglecting it with the snarls, which is huge. We're slowing down his other Pokemon, which is awesome. Dropping that speed. We still have uh, two very strong mods in the back. He's going to go for a nuzzle. He's going to nuzzle buzzle up on my... Uh, on my your belt, yo. Chill on me. Yo, if he's paralyzed this turn, I'm going to cry. Just a little bit. I'm going to go for a Starfall. Oh, that might, that might take me out. Hopefully he can eat. We have that Assault Vest. And we do eat up all day. Lovely. It's not stab damage. And you're not paralyzed. We're pretty much setting ourselves up for victory here. Raichu goes down and we get a minus one on Espeon. Come on. Do him dirty. Hey, yo. Out my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That did a lot of damage to that Espeon, too. Yo, dude. This, is, this might have been one of the easiest battles I ever played. Might have been one of the easiest battles I ever played. Not Like, I'm not even kidding. This one was super easy. Just the way we led this battle, I was just like, yeah, we got this one in the bag. That's why I, I led the Regilecki and the, uh, the Yavelta over to Arcanine. I was like, dude, he's probably going to lead the Blastoids and roll from there. Dude, we thrive. And Psychic Surge can come back out. Change up that terrain back to what it was. I cannot go for Sucker Punches, which kind of stinks. Uh, but do I just drop another E-Web? I think we just E-Web and we Snarl again. <laughs> Yo, dude, this is battle so easy, man. I'm not even going to Dynamax. He's going to cancel it. Yeah, it is. There's the cancel. We go one and one. We can hop into our third and final and look for a winning record for this video. Sitting at one and one, hopping into our third and final battle, looking for that winning record here. Going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Landorus, Tapu Koko, Ndidi, Wimscott, and Terrakion. Um, who should I go into? How should I lead this one? I'm thinking he's leading that Wimscott. I'm thinking of maybe going Yavelta here. No, probably Arcanine. I kind of need some Intimidate Pokemon, and I kind of want to get Reggie Seal Rocking out here. He can be a beast. He can be a beast. We can set up some Iron Defenses and roll from there. This Body Press would be super effective up against that, uh, that Ice Rider Calyrex. So Reggie Steel, yo, you're coming in here. Might lead that Regilecki, to be honest. Get some Speed Drops, roll from there. Oh, uh, yes, that Terrakion. Uh, say we lead uh, Arcanine. Arcanine doesn't do bad work here. He doesn't Intimidate. He can put Burns on Pokemon, which is nice. Can go beat up Wimscott, which kind of scary. Can do that. But in that case, I can get off an Intimidate and throw off a burn on that Terrakion. Alright, I'm with that. Um, next spot is gonna go to the I think Tabu Finny. Finny can roll out here, do a little bit of work. We like that Finny. And then Yavelta? Or Lando. It's Yavelta or Lando. I'm thinking Lando, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna go Lando. Yeah, Lando's looking very, very fine. It's looking looking real good. It's looking real good, baby. But hopefully we pick up this win. First battle was very, very strong. Second battle, I think that might have been one of the easiest battles I've ever played in Pokemon Sword and Shield Online. Like, I played plenty of battles, but that one was so ridiculously easy. I don't know what it was. Like, these are Master Ball tier battles, and it was that easy. It was that easy. It was crazy. It was crazy. But he goes into Calyrex, and indeed. Okay, so I think I just uh, get off a nice Intimidate. You get off a nice Intimidate, and I think I go into an Iron Defense. And do I try to get off a Burn? Do I see a Follow Me coming out here? I really don't. I've seen more so like an Expanding Force. Right? I see more so an Expanding Force popping here. I think I just go into the, that Iron Defense and we try to get off a Burn onto that Calyrex. I'm thinking that's the play. Let's go Iron Defense. Start setting up. And we go into that uh that will wisp here. That willow wisp. That wisping of the willows. Alright, make a move, buddy. Make a move. Don't go for follow me. That's the only move you can't make. You can go for an expanded force. I don't mind. I don't mind it. Not at all. I'll snarl you next turn. If I have to. But I'm really just worried about this calyrex. Everyone knows this thing's an absolute beast. So hopefully I can get this defense set up. And why is like Reggie Shield so small? He doesn't withdraw the calories. Okay. He's gonna go into go into another physical. Okay, he goes to Terrakion. I do like that. 
I'm fine with that. Oh, and he's going to go into follow me. So I am going to get off a free iron defense. And Willow's going to come out here and put a burn on him. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with it. Get off a burn on you. Iron defense is popping. Bang. Big old iron shield. Love to see it. Plus two on the special, or plus one on the defense board. Um. Hmm. How can I roll off from here? Is he going to beat up the body press? I am going to get off the body press here. At least go for it. I guess I'll flamethrower. I guess I'll double up into him. Does he need to learn beat up? I don't think it does. Let's see what he does here. I think he's, he might just go for another follow me. This is why I went to like two attacking moves instead of going into like a burn again. If you go for it once, you can go for it again. He's going to Dynamax. I don't think this thing learns beat up, right? Nah, not a shot, right? Not a shot. I don't think he did. Because he, he would have led Wimscott. He would have led Wimscott all day if that was your plan. I think he might just start boosting it on his own with some Axe Knuckles on the Red Ranger Seal. Maybe I should have Iron Defense up again. I'll probably protect next turn if that's the case. Let's see what happens. Another follow me is coming out here. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a nice little flamethrower. Get after him. Put some damage. I think if your Pokemon's burned, this should be a thing. I just want to see what he goes into. He's going to go into Knuckle. Everyone steal? Yep, steal eats up all day. He's an absolute tank. I can protect next turn as well. But I think... Oh, he can drop a rock on me too. But I think if a Pokemon's burned, fire damage should do more. I think that should be a thing. Hands down. A nice body press off on that. That is some big, big, big damage. Left over is going to pop off. Um, I think I double up in the NDD. He might follow me again. And I think he's going to drop a rock ball. Actually, Arcanine outspeeds. Arcanine outspeeds. So I think I just go into another iron defense. And I just take out the NDD. Right, didn't Arcanine outspeed? Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. That might be a bad play. Let's see what he does. If I get off another Iron Defense boost, Reggie's still going to be bumping here. But I think he Dynamax way too early. He does. Helping Hands can come out here. Oh, that's fair. You got to be going after my Arcanine, right? Arcanine's going to be able to get off a nice Flamethrower. But take out my Arcanine. Like, I don't, I don't care. Drop a Rock on him. I do not care. I do not care what's, whatsoever. You can go for a Rockfall. Yeah. I don't care. Arcanine's dead. That's fine. Arcanine did its job. Did some work here. Made a pup. So he's plus one on attack. I think I get out my boy Lando now. Then I get out Lando just for that intimidate. Wait, like, didn't I bring did I bring Lando? Yeah, I bring I think I brought Lando. Maybe able to iron defense boost up here. So yo, Terrakion's not doing nothing up against me. I'm boosted. I get my leftovers. I don't take buffets either. Which is huge. Do not take buffets. That's why I love about the steel typing on Regilecki. Um I could get out Lando. Or I could get out you. <laughs> the options we can use. Um, I think I get out Lando. Lando's going to be able to outspeed, right? I mean, let me just see Arcanine speed. Just so I can make sure it kind of outspeeds. 161. Um, mm, 157. I think he still outspeeds. I think we... Uh, I could protect. I could fly. That's going to be a player. Who's he going to throw out? He's going to throw out... Tapu Coco. Okay, Coco comes out here. He's not going to do a lot here. I could get a own special defense boost by taking that thing out with a max max quake. I, I think I'm going to quake onto that and body press over onto the the Terrakion. Yeah, it's definitely a play. Hundo percent though. Let's do that. Hit that and then Dynamax and drop a quake over onto Tapu Coco. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Actually, I don't know, dude. That Rockfall could do some mean damage on me. I think I should have protected it. I hate when I click the button to, like, confirm return, and then I start thinking a little bit more, and then I, I second-guess myself. Like, I think I should have protected it now. So you can drop a Rockfall on me. You can't drop a Rockfall on me, and that could be detrimental to us. But we do have uh, Finny in the back, just in case we make a big mistake. And I think my boy is going to be able to set up here and win us the match. Nature's Madness coming in here. He's rocking out with that. Let me eat that. We do eat really, 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 really well. But he comes out. He is holding that Shuka Berry. He's just man is doing a lot of damage there. But that'll be nice for this Top of Coco if he does end up eating this move up. He doesn't. We just absolutely dump on it. Um, 
I see Terrakion dropping a rock. Oh, we get a crit, yo. You love to see that. I see Terrakion dropping a rock onto my uh, Lando, and I don't see him doing anything to my Registeel. Like, Registeel is boosted plus four. You're not doing anything to it. Like, we're eating it up all day if you drop a knuckle. What are you going for? He's going to go for that rock fall. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to eat that, this up. Let's see. Oh, we do. Oh, my God. That's a tasty snack. Lick the fingers up, yo. Tasty snack. That's how tasty it was. We had to lick the cheese off our fingers. Just to get an extra nibble at it. <laughs> but body press does absolute work to that Terrakion. This Dynamax turns are over. We're going to seal this battle up and go 2-1 for this video. I'm 100% on that one. I'm 100% that we win this battle. He brings out Calyrex. Yo, dude, we are boosted. We outspeed him. Totally fine with this. But it is weird. Terrakion does outspeed us. So he's in between... 157 and 161. Good to know. I can protect, but uh, what's your body press? Up a rock fall over onto. Actually, no, we're gonna quake. Not nah, sure I quake. No, we're gonna rock fall over onto Calyrex. This Terrakion's gonna be able to outspeed us. He's probably gonna close combat on my Regis Steel. But I think we eat that up. Or we might try to go for a rock side. And now we're outspeeding. I'm confused. Did we outspeed. No, we did outspeed last turn. Never mind. Never mind. I lied. I lied. We outsped last turn. Terrakion's not faster than us. We proc his policy. Uh, Registeel's gonna be faster than uh, Calyrex, so we'll definitely be able to take out this Terrakion, no problem. He's gonna Sacred Sword, which we're gonna be able to eat up all day. Yeah, my boy. My boy boosting up. Body press coming out here. Later, Terrakion. Yo, Registeel clutching up, man. Registeel's a beast, even though it has one attacking move. And then it's also Rock and Protect and two defense boosting moves. It's awesome. Much like you go. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there, buddy. Slow your roll. Slow your roll there, buddy. Jeez, this thing's absolutely rocking out. Just chilling, they boost it. Luckily, we outspeed this thing. Luckily, we outspeed this thing. I would have cried if we would have lost this battle. We missed this move. Let me talk. This is why we're not going with the Muddy Water. We're going with the Moon Blast. Finny definitely outspeeds this Calyrex. We should be thriving. <laughs> we should be thriving. If I would have lost this battle, I would have cried. I would have cried. Legit, you would have watched a grown man cry in a video of him playing Pokemon. <laughs> that would have went viral. Maybe I should cry. <laughs> But, top of any outspeeds, Moonblast connects, that's GG's. Let's go, yo, strong team today. Very, very strong team. I loved playing it. Everything about it was awesome. It was different with the Reggie Steel, And we got to show him off and get ourselves a win in this final battle. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1. That first battle was very, very strong. We ended up losing. Then we rolled into our second battle. Dominated with one of the easiest battles I've ever played. And third and the final battle, we got to show off Reggie Steel and his team to its fullest potential and pick up that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Don't forget, guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What is your top three favorite Pokemon for Gen 4? And also, let me know if you guys are like the layout back in action thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out everybody